Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Hi, Power, how are you? Marvel, thank you for getting your plushie. Ooh, you got a plant cloak worm and dam, I see. Nice. Yes, we're starting at another new game. This one is called Spirit Tea, and I was told it has Studio Ghibli vibes. Ooh, I'm glad you're doing good, Power. We're gonna try our best. The internet is still being a little bit of a shite, but there's not much I can do whenever everything's covered in snow and ice because it started snowing here the day after Thanksgiving and today was the first day it hasn't snowed, but it will be back tomorrow. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love the snow. It looks beautiful. It's murder on the internet around here though. Uh, sorry for missing stream last night. Internet was not, it was not happening. It was not gonna happen. I couldn't get my computer that's hardlined to the modem to stay like connected to the internet for longer than two minutes without it crashing. Like it, it was not gonna happen last night. 10 squats, Marvel, we can do that. With the medicine ball or without the medicine ball? We can get that going before we launch in. I really need to make that as a prompt. <laughs> So when you guys redeem it, it makes you put it in automatically. I just need to know if I'm grabbing the extra weight or not with the ball. You betcha. That is appreciated because my hip stretches suck this morning. Luckily today was a short day at work. Tomorrow's a long day though. I also realized I have to remake a blanket. So yay, I gotta redo it. All right. 10 squats with the medicine ball. Ready, guys, real quick? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And a 10. Hey, there's a Drac results in chat, guys. I hear <laughs> Howdy, howdy, pup. How you doing today? But yeah, I went up. I got a new Christmas tree. I gotta set that up Saturday. Yes, it's a fake one. Don't come at me. I have cats. I had to get the shatter resistant ornaments as well. Because they can and will knock the sparkly toys off the tree. Exhausted? I'm sorry, pup. I feel that. That's gonna be me tomorrow. I have... <laughs> For no reason, I have a seven-hour shift. I'm like, there are people here until 2.30. I could work a five-hour shift. I don't need to be in super early, but apparently I do. So... Say la vie, at least I'm not closing tonight. And then I'm off Saturday, Sunday. Which Saturday, I have confirmed, we will be doing Lethal Company with at least Casual and Boa again. So yay! More chaos. I've been entering from 7.30 to 5.30. Oh my god, that sucks so bad. Is it still at the farm, though? With the cows? Like, I don't, don't get me wrong. Farm work is... Long and backbreaking, and will exhaust you so quickly. <sighs> Yee, nice. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's just it, it's it's really hard on the body. Can confirm that. Oh yeah, no, you're still gonna be tired. It is definitely cold. But, anywho. Like I said, this is supposed to have Studio Ghibli vibes, and it's supposed to be a soothing game, and they recommend a controller. So we're going to launch it and see how we do with it. It's also a really new game. Like, it just launched. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, Belgian warm blood. Nice. I know that one's a horse. So we'll see where this adventure takes us. Welcome. What stop will you be getting off at? Enter. Hello, is this Stardew Valley-esque? Um, what do we want to name our town, guys? I didn't realize we were naming a town. And it doesn't look like there's a shift. There's a space, but it will all be in all caps.
Uh, so if you I gotta to get this calf bedding ready, then I'm off. Yeah. I don't blame you there, pup. I walked to work this morning because the roads were still icy and I was like, it's cold. Walked home and then I had to, I was like, okay. Calf just casually walks in the barn. They're like, hi, is my bed ready yet? Can I go to sleepy sleeps now and be warm? Calves are adorable. They can be little shits though. What do I want to name the town where we're going? I appreciate the ambient noise that is a busy bus depot. I looked further in the barn, saw a cow that was somehow outside the pen giving birth on the food. That, that sounds about right for cows. Oh yeah, now that, that again, that sounds about right. Um, oh, it's oh, automatically shifts. Okay, cool. Damn it! Now I gotta remember to spill. It's one of the funniest things I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> cows are special like that. Yes, Crunchyroll understand stuff's on sale. Don't don't at me right now. Okay, there it is. Because we're gonna go generic enough that it can't be copyrighted. <laughs> Why? Because copyright sucks. You'll be lurking? Alright, that's fine, pup. I understand if you're tired. I appreciate the pop-in, though. Alright, we're gonna go to Sanctuary. Huh, this bus indeed stops there, but you're in for a long ride. You best get comfortable. Oh god, there's a whole... Will you be live tomorrow? No, pup. Tomorrow's Friday, and I have a seven-hour shift. I'll be live Saturday and Sunday, though. Oh god, I didn't realize there was a whole... Okay, there we go. We can be purple. <laughs> the creator stirred some trouble with this game's launch. Wanted bigger content creators to review the game. Didn't want to pay them for it. Ugh. Yes, you'll have weekend wolf. Wolf's off this weekend. That sucks. Again, the premise of the game caught my interest, which is why I was like, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just go with the default one. So we only have two. Huh. Hat. It's all the same hairstyle, it just depends on the- Oh no, there's some longer ones. You can be bald. Huh. I guess give me the short silver. Um, probably gr- It's either a hoodie or a t-shirt. Okay, green. Nah, no hat. Fantasy author is our job. Okay. Season date. Um. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I guess we'll just pick that one. Our name is always the same. Our name is Wolf. Oh. There we go. Right then, take a seat and let's get everybody else on the bus now, huh? It's cute so far, but we'll see how this goes. Like, I know there was a lot of hype on this game, like, three months ago before it dropped. They were doing really good at promoting it. So I'm a... A little shocked about the creators stirring up trouble, but eh. Say la vie. No more robots. Again, from what I saw of it, I was intrigued and I was like, oh, okay, we'll try this. It's gonna be a long. This is one of those bus rides where you just put an audiobook on it, put some headphones over your ears, and pass out. To be fair, though, I think that's, like, one of the best ways to deal with bus rides is just zone out to a book or some music. Not loud enough to disturb everybody, but enough to, like, kind of block them out for the most part. Hi! 
Miko. You must be Wolf. I'm glad you've made it in one piece. I suppose our proper productions are in order. My name's Miko, and I believe we spoke on the phone the other day. Welcome to Sanctuary. It's really quite lovely here. I do hope you'll enjoy your time you're spent here. We received all your luggage earlier today. I had my husband Quill help me get it safely to the house she'll be staying in. I'm afraid I may have sullied his first impression of you as I had him carry the heavy things. Speaking of, let me quit yapping and show you to your home. This way, please. This is going to be interesting. Why are the frog statues sad? Why are the frog statues sad? We'll get the brain working eventually. Eventually, I'll remember how to English. Well, what do you think? You're not much of a talker, are you? That's this is actually my home. I hope you'll come by to see Quill or myself if you ever need anything. I'm waiting for like the most rundown house to be ours. <laughs> like that that's what I'm expecting here. This is my husband's bicycle shop. You might find it convenient to have a bicycle if you ever want to explore the nearby area. At the very least, a little exercise does a body some good. There's a karaoke bar. Pretty much the extent of our downtown here in Sanctuary. I'm sure it's nothing like the big city you've just come from, but we've got everything we need, and there's a restaurant if you're tired of cooking at home, a karaoke bar, a chicken restaurant, and a coffee shop. The Ken And Kenzo runs a convenience store a little ways southeast of here. I could talk your ear off about all the residents here and how kind they all are, but Quill would did warn me that you've had a long trip and to <clears throat> keep your yapping to a minimum and let the newbies sleep. So let's get you home. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. It does the transparent thing for when you're walking through. That, this is what I expected. <laughs> Run down little house. Here we are. I do hope it meets all your needs. The pictures I posted online were taken just last week, so it should be accurate. Oh, and one thing you might find different is that we tend to leave our doors unlocked. We don't usually have any crime here, though there have been strange occurrences lately. And, well, there aren't that many of us living in town. What I'm trying and failing to say is that Sanctuary is very safe, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed this slice of countryside. Feel free to visit your neighbors where and whenever you please. I know they'll be happy to get to know you. Then I'll leave you to it. I'll set you up your futon this morning, and you should have everything you need. I saw you had an old teapot in the cupboard. Maybe you can try out some of the locally grown tea. Alright, I'm leaving now, because even I can tell you I've nodded on for too long. Good night. Alrighty then, Miko. So it is spring, it's 10 p.m. I still lock my door if I live there. Oh yeah, no, at 110% I would still be locking my door. Little bookshelf, trunk. Oh, that's the bath, okay. Is that the, that's the teapot. I'm kind of exploring a bit. It's been a long day, interact with the bed to go to sleep, <laughs> damn it. They're like, hey, hey, hey. Huh. Hat. I gotta love it. The instant you wake up, someone's knocking on your door. Oh. Amelia. Hi, you must be Wolf. Don't look so surprised. Miko's already told me all about you. Especially if someone told me in that place that people don't really lock their doors. Yeah. She's not really one to keep gossip to herself. Anyway, I'm Amelia, the other town granny. It's a pleasure to meet you. I came by because I wanted to welcome you to our little town and drop off a few things. Ow! First off, in case you're hungry... Yeah, she handed me some onigiri. Nice. It's from an old family recipe called the rice ball from the convenience store. Okay, I see. You can eat that delicious morsel by pressing B, which is a great at restoring stamina. But why don't you set that down in the table for now because I've got something else for you. Press A to set food down. Now, this here is from Miko. You got the mixed vegetables, egg, and rice. She forgot to give it to you last night. You don't have to eat it now if you don't want to. Why don't you throw it in that backpack of yours? Press X to put held objects into your backpack. But wait, that's not all. I saw someone say on the television... I was just trying to be flashy. 
I brought you a brochure of activities you can do around Sanctuary. It comes with a map, too, which I'm sure you'll find useful. Press right bumper to open and close that. Okay, so here's our house. I'm assuming that's Miko popping up there. Well, it looks like a shrine. We have a graveyard. Is that supposed to be a hospital? Huh. There's Sanctuary itself. Okay. What's with the- is it like a shear up there? Oh, like, look at the- <laughs> You have not uncovered this yet. <laughs> and with all that, you should be good to go, but, um... You're a writer, correct? It doesn't look like you've got a place to sit and work. Hmm. I wonder if we might have... Just over halfway to VIP? Nice. Something in storage over at the shop. It's my daughter's store, but I help out every now and then. Why don't we head over there and see if she's got an old desk that you could use? You know what I didn't see? I didn't see a school. This is just so exciting. You'll understand when you're an old fart like me. The shop is nice and close to your new home. Just walk a little ways east and you're there. Let's go. You can open and close your backpack by pressing Y and take things out of it by pressing A. Lastly, you can get around quicker by holding down B to run. Running uses stamina, which can be recovered by sleeping and eating. Go find that shop. Okay, so she said right, or she said east, so I'm assuming that's right. I'm assuming we're doing the general thing of north. Froggies! You're a crow. I think this is it. I think I hear Song busy upstairs. Actually, I was supposed to be watching over the shop when I snuck over to your place. But barrel and chat, guys. Let me go ask her if she's got a desk that you can use. So she just left the shop. There's a customer here, too. Moby. Hey, you must be the newbie. I'm Moby. I run the coffee shop a little northwest of here. Feel free to stop by for your caffeine-fueled needs. I see. Wolf, it seems like we've got a desk here for you. Oh, Moby, could you help Wolf out and bring it over to their place? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you, dear. I better get back to running the shop, Wolf. Don't worry about the desk. I'm just happy to see it be of use to someone. Whew, what a workout. That is a big-ass desk for him just to haul. Damn, I feel bad. Where do you want this thing? Unless, of course, you like it sitting in the middle of your room. Move it to wherever you want using your house organizer. It's over there between your front doors. At a bird, you're a bird. Meet a wolf, you're a wolf, yeah. Okay, so everything's displayed. Uh, desk, move. Can I rotate the desk? I cannot. That sucks. Um... I was really hoping I could flip it around. Because I was gonna... Damn it. That's irritating. I don't like that I can't flip the desk. Nice, Marvel. Uh, I guess... Here? Yeah, okay. All set. Per. Can I eat the desk? I mean, you can try. Why is my onigiri floating? Uh, yeah, I saw that. I thought I was losing it for a second there. Listen, I'm not sure if anyone has mentioned this to you, but Sanctuary kind of feels haunted at times. Like, Sunjin was telling me the other day she's been hearing strange noises outside of her boat at night time, and... In my own apartment, I've gotten these, like, weird plants growing around my bathtub. That's probably because you don't clean. You're supposed to clean occasionally. Come on now, I know that. Jeez, my, my house isn't that bad. Anyway, your food was just floating and then it disappeared in front of us. It's like this place is... <laughs> the man is so startled he fell down. Don't open it. It might be trying to bring in its friends. Or wait, could it be trying to get out? Quickly open it. No, it's just somebody else barging in. Young, sorry to intrude, my name is Young. I run the temple at the southern tip of town. I wanted to be one of the first to welcome you to Sanctuary. I hope that... 
Moe, are, are you unwell? Uh, young, so good to see you, buddy. All's well over here. <laughs> How very curious. Anyway, Wolf, you likely haven't had much of a chance to explore the town and meet everyone just yet, have you? I had a word with my associate, Jan, this morning, and she's- a, er, No, sorry, Jan. That's, that's an A, that's not an N. My bad. <laughs> Jan this morning, and she's agreed to help you meet, find and meet all the locals. She's a wonderful companion, and I think the two of you will get along swimmingly. She's waiting for you just outside, whenever you're ready. Okay, then. I guess I'll leave you to it, Wolf. Be careful not to let Jan bite you. Don't worry about that. She's very kind. Enjoy your day. I will stop by later to pick up Jan once you're familiar as yourself with the town. She doesn't like to be away from her brother Maru very long. Uh, the game has just been saved. Ordinarily, it will only save when you sleep. Six of 27. I think A is you. Hey, I thought it was an O. Ah, uh, you're a dog. That's, that's... Nope. Crap. Pet? I mean, at least we can pet the doggy. Uh, we'll see who we can find first. What is this? Oh, this is the restaurant, isn't it? Hello? Hmm? Who are you supposed to be? I'm Julian. What's it to you? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Is there anyone else upstairs? There is. Oh, there's more seating up here. Who are you? Julian, are you new around here? I don't think I've met you before. Pleased to meet you. Oh, that's just a bathroom. Okay. <laughs> that would have been very awkward <laughs> if someone had been in there. Who are you? Sora. You must be the new person in town. I'm, uh, Sora. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. Anyone in the karaoke bar? Why? Put it down. Why can I pick that up? Okay, so the supply closet, toilet. I'll be nice and close the door behind me so it doesn't look like I was raised in a barn. I don't know if there's gonna be anybody here right now. Nope. Oops. Do you know Donald and a Goofy? Possibly. I don't know, that's an orb thingy. Okay. So it doesn't look like there's anyone here right now, which is weird because it's open. I know they said they don't lock their doors, but... Yeah. I guess we can meet Quill, because he should be at the shop. Ah, so you're the one Miko was talking about. Welcome and all that. Kitty! Can I pet the kitty? I cannot pet the kitty. Disappointment. Uh, coffee shop. Who we got here? Sunjin, you must be the newbie in town. Okay, who's your friend? Tara. Beautiful beast, I see. I'm Tara. I live at the pension down by the southeastern beach. What? Also, look at all the coffee mugs. Dear God. I thought we had a lot of coffee mugs. Okay, so we're like halfway there. Is the person who owns the boat on the boat? Nope. They are out and about. Okay. Is this the community center or is this an apartment building? That is a very odd sculpture. Steals a coffee mug. I'm just gonna take the stairs. Please. I could just walk into these people's apartments. Hi. I'm Gail. I work at the karaoke bar in town. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. Like, I can't knock. I just barge in. This feels wrong. Like, even all the years of playing Pokemon, this feels wrong. Ooh, Gundam poster. Okay. 
Oh, you're not awkwardly in the bathroom. I'm also, like, not taking my shoes off or anything. I'm sure they won't notice. I'm sh Um... Nope. Okay. This person is also gone. I guess we'll go up a floor. Also, it doesn't have a time for me, so I'm assuming time is, like, temporarily frozen? Uh, I don't see anyone here, although they got a fish tank. Like, they got a fish tank that takes up a quarter of their living space. Also, how did I afford the house, but these people are living in these tiny apartments? Nope. There's not a whole lot here. I don't know where you guys are at, unless there's, like, a place you all work simultaneously. Hides the mug in Wolf's bag. Why would you hide the bag? In, the mug in my bag? Yeah, tools. There's only two floors to this place. Okay. So this is the convenience store, I assume. Hi, who are you? Kenzo, new to town, huh? I'm the only one. I work at the Link Convenience Store in town. I'm sure I'll see you during your snack runs. That way, if they notice you're the one who gets in trouble, no! Oh, we got another dude. Eric, you just moved in that place by the water. Oh, I'm Eric. Okay. What about the back room? Or upstairs? Upstairs. I'm eventually going to find either something questionable or someone... Like, okay, I was like, please don't make me make it to where I can open their cupboards. That's really weird. Okay, so like nine more. Oh, we got one right here. Hi, who are you? Faye, you must be Wolf. I'm the local carpenter, blacksmith, all arounder. Okay. Does anyone work with you? Do you have an apprentice or an assistant? Not that I can see. Maybe you'll find someone in the bathroom, maybe. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, doesn't look like it, though. That's a really nice bathroom. Anyway, uh, nope. So it's just Faye. Oops. Locked myself on the wrong side of the door. I like how they're like, use the dog, and I'm like, no. <laughs> like, let me wander around aimlessly so I might eventually figure out where I'm going half the time. Because right now, I don't think, like, I, I'm going to get lost constantly. Birdie! This place is locked. Okay. Or in such disrepair, it's condemned. Yeelies! Okay, so we've got, what, down by the shrine? Bug! Bug. So I guess we'll go down by the shrine, I guess. Wait, I thought they didn't lock their doors. I, I don't know, man. That one, like, I can't open that door. Ribbit. Ribbit. Froggy. Birdie! Froggy. Um, that's a weird sign. Oh, it's a school, not a hospital. Ball. What happens if I kick it in a goal? Oh, that is not. Why am I got pie ears? I did not request the pie ears. It will not let me kick it in a goal. What? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> oh my. It's stuck. Fine, I'll kick it around this side. There, perfectly aligned. Now it's in the goal. Now I don't want pie in my ears. They just let me wander in the school. Bruce, you're a new face in town. I'm Bruce. Okay, what about the classroom full of children? Do they all count? Also, who are your parents? Nope, okay. Can I talk to the teacher? 
Hi, I don't think we've met. I'm Kim. I'm just barging into people's classrooms and disrupting class now. Totally normal. <laughs> you must be Wolf. The whole town is talking about you. Oh, I'm Yumi. Dice in the ears is even worse, because then I have to get the dice out, and then I have to clean, like, hope they didn't get gunked up with earwax. And if they did, I have to clean them. Who's in the library? Um... Are you the nurse? You're the new face in town, huh? My name's Ling. Be seeing you around. Okay. Ah! No, don't let me in. Ow! What did I do? Hi, Einstein. Clarence. You must be the new resident in town. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. So we have five more to find. I'm hoping that most of them are at the school. Aw, uh, pictures don't count. Who's this fella? Toby. I don't think we've met before. Yep, just some random stranger barging into your classroom in the middle of class time. It's fine. Cafeteria. Third floor. Um, is anyone in the music room? Oh, my bad. Computer room. A negative. What about over here? What is this? I found a flute. <laughs> Trying to knock some of the dirt loose? Why would you do that? Okay, it does not wish for me to reclose that door. I was like, watching a cowboy movie the other night. The character's name was something strange, though. John Marsh Town? Is that supposed to be catchy? Are you guys trying to make a reference to John Marston from Red Dead Redemption? I feel like that's what you were trying to make a reference to there. Crabs. Ooh. Ah! The fuck? Did I just get assaulted by something? I feel like I just got assaulted by something. Who lives on the beach? Stepping on the beach. Do -do -do -do. Uh, um, children, that's who. Oh. John is having trouble, or Jan. I'm gonna keep thinking that A is an O every single time. Okay, try this now that we're outside. Why am I in the box of shame? What did I do? Ooh. Hand, hand. Ah, uh, can't do anything about that. I was at the shop! You must be the new kid. I'm Song, and this little mister is Momo. There's this free spirit wandering around our little town. Wolf is it? Then I'll be late. Okay. So we have to find two more people. Alright, who do we have left? Maru. We met Radish the Cat and Tifa. Let's go for Tifa, I guess, since she's the farmer. And then Maru should be at the shrine. Actually, Maru's right there. Got it. Hi, so you're the new face in town. I'm Tifa. Take care of the tea fields here in town. Oh, come see me tomorrow. I'll give you a free sample. Okay. You look like you've both had a long day. I hope your first impression of our little town has been a good one. It's a weird one, that's for sure. Tifa want me to tell you to pick up some tea leaves from her tomorrow. Anyway, stop by the temple anytime. Jan, Maru, and I all enjoy visitors and our doors are always open. Come on, Jan. Good night, Wolf. Alrighty, then. So... Am I just supposed to be this recluse shut-in now? Eva! I guess sleep. Why am I being assaulted with an Eevee? What did I do for Eevee assaults? Okay, so now we have the clock. We have no money, though. We are broke. Broker than broke. So, 
I haven't seen that little stand right there. Okay, so there's Maru and Jan. There we are. Ah, oh, there you are. As promised, here you go. You got the fresh tea leaves. Many objects can be carried, then dropped. Use A when facing an object to pick it up, and A to press it down. If it can be eaten, used, or has some sort of function, you can form it by pressing B. If you have space in your backpack, you can store carried objects by pressing X, which is what we're gonna do. Evie got away from me and wanted to try to knock you over. Ah, I see. So I was just being randomly assaulted with an Eevee then. Got it. It keeps mentioning stamina, but I never saw a stamina bar. Don't give me omens. Bad birdie. Place the tea leaves in the teapot by facing the teapot and interactivating it while holding the leaves. So, Y opens backpack. We only have six slots in the backpack, noted. Yes. It seems to be heating up supernaturally. What? But it's an old teapot. Do I just wait? Uh, yes. You drank the spirit tea. Stupid, feeble creature, so selfish, leaving... Yeah. Wait, you can see me? Oh god. Where's there shrooms in there? I aim the Pokemon having zoomies. Ah. You you can't. Can you? This, this is... I'm supposed to be guiding... Kitty! How long was I... I can't believe I ever became lost. May, you never let me live this one down. Wait, who the heck are you? Uh, I'm Wolf. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got problems. We... Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. They're what's called lost because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings, or even thinking about them anymore. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools, though I nearly lost control. Anyway, you can call me... Wanyan. And since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control. Nyan round here. <laughs> oh god, it makes the Nyan cat puns. What's with that look? You didn't come here to mess around with spirits? I get it. You mortals live short lives and fill each a with brings that bring happiness. The truth is, I... No. We need you. Damn it! You're really going to make me beg? There are already so many lost spirits who don't even remember who they were. They need your help and you're like a hero to them. Your morals would like being called heroes, don't you? What? Processing? Sounds is the same as confirmation. God damn it. <laughs> I think I have a plan that might just work, but first you need to see something. Let's head up the mountain, look at the stairs at the eastern part of town. So wait, that place I couldn't go earlier? Is that where we're going? This took a very strange turn. Okay, eastern part of town. So we're gonna go here and go right. Was there something on that tree? I feel like there was something on that tree and then I bumped into it and it disappeared. Walking on the sidewalk like a good little human. The bridge is closed due to disrepair. Pay 1500 donate wood, go back. Okay, that's not what he was talking about. Uh, we have neither wood nor money, so that's not happening. Set to the east, my dude. Which further east can I go? Oh, these with the sad toads. Frogs? Frogs. Birdie! Can I go fishing in the stream? Oh, are we gonna repair a shrine? Squirrel! Okay, not that one. Hmm. I'm assuming it's this one because it's the big stairs, but... Exploration. Alright, what is this? That is... I think the tree has become part of that. This as well used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. So we have to fix up the bathhouse? 
Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse, but it's not all for charity. The spirits would turn in, in turn offer some of the wealth they receive from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathkeeper was a spunky girl. In fact, she used to live in the house you just moved into, though I don't know how long she's been gone. Aha. Uh -huh. The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse, otherwise they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Sanctuary. Why me? Don't kid yourself, it didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirit spirituality would have done, but you did come and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in then. Good. Glad we are all on the same team. I didn't agree to shit, mind you. Then, if we're meeting to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with a spirit who's a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit, and we'll find the key. Though whether or not you'll be able to see the spirits is questionable, but we can deal with that at later. For now, let's head to the place with a lot of sweet foods. Oh, well, there's not a bakery here. I feel like the convenience store is going to be our best bet, because candies... Because there's not, like, a confectionery. And this is, I think, just, like, a guide. That's a bus stop. That's the top of the school. What are you? Also, cat, stop doing that. Oh, chess! So it's not going to be the blacksmith. Um, I feel like it's going to be the convenience store. Hmm, this place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. The ancient teapot in your house infuses regular tea with spiritual properties. Use this to peer into the spirit realm. Ah. Hey, not bad. You seem to be figuring this out pretty quickly. Now then, let's find the spirit. No, not that one. I haven't tried that one with the caramel yet. Ooh, that one's so good. Hey, check out this mortal. It's almost like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. Oh my god. Wait, did they just- what the hell? Don't just stand there. Catch them. I'll use what little power of I help to help keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally, your spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, one's helping you by preventing the gauge from depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking the tea will... And seeping it will replenish the spirit gauge. Okay. The spirit is super quick. Try running to catch spirit. Yeah. I mean, you're the one who had me run into a sign. Hi. 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 Oh my god. Okay, you guys don't go on a predetermined path. Well, yeah, I mean, you do, but you... Ah! Ow! Just sees the new neighbor sprinting by like a mad person. Who are they? They're getting tired. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so close. I'm so close. Just come here. Bro. What are you doing? We just want to talk to you. Oh my god. You better hope we don't catch you now. You're gonna get- You're gone and ticked me off. Fun time's over, clown car. Revert back now. What the hell is wrong with you two? What? Who? Wanyan? And which one of you peanut brains has the key to the bathhouse? Key. The key. I remember Wanyan and a key. One of you better start talking. What is happening? Um... I have the key. Oh, 
God, hang on. This, I don't know what it is, but the spinning pixel art with the freaking blue background is hurting my eyes and like making me nauseous. I remember now I called Fatherog and I was known as Arum. Okay, cool. Just make it stop. Oh, God. Why did that hurt so bad? I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was, but I never forgot your task for me. I've kept the key safe all these years. Here, you must be the new keeper of the baths. You got the bathhouse key. Why were you holding it like that? Can't everyone act normal for just a moment? And as for you two, this mortal is named Wolf, correct? As agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again, I expect to see much of you and your kind here there regularly. Of course, Wang Yansern, we'll be there. With friends. With friends, of course. Godspeed, damn, those fools gave us a runaround, didn't they? Well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. Uh, she's derelict, I can tell you that much. Oh, hi. Sanctuary doesn't officially have a mayor, but I take the majority of the mayoral duties. What is that bar? What is that bar, game? All I did was talk to Miko. I was wondering what she was doing up here. Ladybug. <sighs> Alright. Oh god, it's so bad in here. I'm gonna spend years cleaning this place, aren't I? Ah, uh, yes, this bring back some memories. Lycan Rock. You have no idea how important this place is, Wolf. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet, but believe me when I say they're up to no good. And unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. So with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. We need to clean so much. Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you'll probably notice is that you can see me without ever using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why the spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of the structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Enough of the history lesson, you're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our, essentially, customers to their spots in the baths. Spirits will pay you depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including, follow me, Oh god, is this meant to be the boiler? Including water temperature. This is the boiler of all the baths in the room above us. You have to keep this thing burning so the baths can stay hot. Your source of fuel for this baby is right here. Cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel. Hold A when facing the saw to cut. Oh, look, how convenient that there was a saw here. Also, isn't this like a root of the tree that's giving this place special powers? That log is as big as I am. And Viola, the tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this, but the bathhouse keepers have cut the same root over and over for centuries, and this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Foreshadowing much. None... One thing to note, this is root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we track down and smack the sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes. Which means the more root regrowing and therefore more moo log lags. If you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be growing again after you've slept or something. Anyway, throw that log in one more into the boiler and then come meet me upstairs. This log is as big as I am. Saw, saw, saw. Come on. Thank you. Eh, she regoeth, but slowly this time. So weird. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions. With your work ethic and my brains, we can have this place running in no time. And making lots and lots of moo legs. 
Anyway, do you see this shrine here? It shows you bath temperatures. If you see the temperature dropping, then you better head to the boiler and load up some more. Good, now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in, but first we need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let the spirits use. Spirits? Of course they need towels! What kind of shoddy bathhouse are you planning on running here? You're spirits! You're incorporeal! Although one did grab a... a okiniri, or onigiri and eat it. Come on, let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. Yeah, yeah, I feel that emotion. Now is not the time for that. What do you mean now is not the time for that? Oh my god, I have to talk to the cat. Check that towel box for dirty used towels. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box on their way out the door. As you might have guessed, use A while facing the towel bin to check for towels. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's get them cleaned up this way. How did I just walk through that door without dropping half this stack? Also, this place is filthy. Oh my god. Talk to the cat. Welcome to the washing or er, kitchen, I suppose. We never did come up with a name for it. Let's just call this the prep room. As you can see, things here have become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and the heating vents. Throw the used towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down A. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. Oh my god. Two. Three. Four? Now take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, then the wood uh, towels won't dry. And another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Thank you for that, Pats. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keep the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for the spirits when you've hired someone to clean up this area, scrubbing spirits with a brush. All of these things will affect the spirits' happiness and therefore affect how many moolags they will leave and you leave you as things. Piece of cake, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. A little hard work is good for you. It builds character. All right, let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. Bathhouse entrance. I mean, you. You bring the towels. So what happens if I go back over here and I keep washing towels? Mm -hmm. He said to be preemptive about this. And time's currently frozen, so... Oh, damn. Okay, I can only dry four at once. No, I have to do that in groups of four. Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them over here on this green bamboo mat. That thing is disgusting, but okay. When spirits visit their house, they will automatically grab a towel from the bamboo towel. So, make sure you do your best. Always have some fresh towels of spirits to use. Alright, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up to the spirits. In just a minute. I'm gonna deal with this. Oh, hey, cool. The proper way. Listen, I expect chaos within the first, like, five minutes, alright? Bip. Yes. Hey, they have their own towels. Right on time, you've got your first guest. Take their towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind, if you don't ever want to see a particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance and the spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often, though. Not if you want to make moologs, anyway. There will be times when the spirit is too large for your baths or might be ruin the bathing experience you've created. In those cases, just give them a boot and they'll come back later. Grab the spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop, chop. I expected within the first five minutes. Yeah. And that's just about all there is to it. You can tell a spirit's move when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving. Or an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. Once you've seated the spirit in the bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. 
This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, they won't be making as much money. You could be. You could remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood, back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to water, or if you're busy and you just can accept the blunder and move on. The most important thing to know about running spirits bathhouse is this. Spirits belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy sitting near spirits from the season after theirs. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting on spirits whose season is opposite their own. Confused? Ugh, you would be. Must have a peanut for a brain. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around the town were spring and fall spirits. So you probably don't want to sit them next to each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to which season will take a bit of trial and error, or wait, you might be able to consult the old spirit information tomes that have likely been buried for centuries. There's one other thing I should mention. Come here for a second. I noticed it when the previous bathhouse was taking care of the place. No, they have dirt for dirt. <laughs> the ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard in the bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as m more and more spirits leave after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when the root grows to a certain length. Dirt for brain. Hi, casual. Ooh, shiny milk cap. Nice. I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave you to figure things out on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. The spirits will still pay, but not as much if you let them enjoy their whole bath undisturbed. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your ear earnings from the money pot by the front entrance when you're done working. Uh -huh. So, I feel like you two are spring, so I don't want to put you super close to each other because they're the same season. So, All right, you're a different season, but are you summer or are you fall? I'm gonna put you there, because I'm not sure if you're summer or fall yet. Nink! How you doing, hun? Okay, you're in another spring. Finally free. I don't blame you. I like uh, turtles. Okay, so they don't quite like each other. Doing well. Okay, so I assume that that one is fall then. Because he didn't like spring next to him. This one's fall. Uh, I don't. You're just following me around. Okay. <laughs> Doing well? I'm glad. What is this? This is spirit tea. I look different. What do you mean I look different? Same avatar. I haven't updated her or anything. Uh, let's put him there so he's away from everybody. Loving the new layout. Uh, I mean, we've had the layout for a hot minute. Can I put? I can put you in the middle. Okay, cool. I have no idea. Uh, you're another spring dude. If I'm all I'm gonna get spring and fall, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah. So these two aren't super pleased. This guy is like ecstatic though. Yeah, no. They just have dirt right now. Oh yeah. God, there's so many spirits. How... Oh, right, what's the water temperature? Okay, I think... I think I'm okay. I'm gonna leave... I don't know how to do the scrubbing thing, though. Let's see, these guys are happy. These guys are okay. This is the only one who's, like, very upset. I don't know why he's so upset. Because, like, I love space. I might be able to get you in there, too. I can see your tail. Yeah, so I had to adjust how the model was sitting. So, can I put you here and you'd be happy? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, my God. I don't have any more towels. So, y'all are going to have to wait. I can grab two more towels, and I guess I can throw two more of you in the tub. But I don't have, like, a back scratcher or anything, as far as I can tell. Ow! 
Those were underneath the tail is natural, but it is connected. Oh my god. That's just because of how you rigged it casual. Eventually, I still need to, like, try to re-rig this tail at some point. Um, I can put you here. Okay, we're kind of happy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit the other one. I might have messed up. You're gonna have to go next to somebody. Yeah, you're not happy about that. Okay. Uh, we need to go downstairs and do the boiler. No! Right here only. Because the water is now cold. Take a couple minutes. Saw a hunk of wood off the root. <laughs> Come on. Wait for it to grow back. So what? Each log's like an hour, if that. Okay, we're good. See if I can't put three down in here. That'd be nice. So. so we're not getting any summer ones as far as I could tell for spirits. It all looks like it was spring and fall, sadly. Let me, let me have Lug. Okay. Hopefully three gets us whatever we need. Okay, so some of them have left. Okay, cool. So now, I gotta grab towels. See, this is why I prepared towels beforehand, was so I had them. Alright, so we gotta come over here, we gotta wash the towels. Roselia in chat, for anyone who wants a Roselia. Okay, so we have exactly four. Perfect. So now we wait for them to dry. I see where they mean, but like the Studio Ghibli vibe thing kind of comes in at. Ow! Why the Pokeball to the head? I didn't do anything. Lazy cat. Why is the cat spirit always a lazy spirit? Can, can I take a fucking broom? I can! But I can just carry it. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't we clean this place first? Pikachu! I'm just being assaulted with every known Pokemon. It's fine. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me go drop these off. Wrong target. What do you mean, wrong target? I didn't do anything. Okay, so while those are drawing... Oh god! Hey, he's leaving. Cool. He's... alright. <laughs> so we're gonna put you in the corner. I'm gonna put you in the other corner. Nice! Put you across. It seems like if I leave a gap, we're good. Okay, I don't have any more towels. That's fine. Hang on. I have no idea how long I have to keep this place open for. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm gonna wash this one towel. Bip. Take these towels out, and then I probably need to go put more freaking wood in the boiler. Yeah, we gotta put more wood in the boiler. Okay. He's leaving. You come with me. I'm gonna get you guys in here real quick. You wanted to throw it at the Roselia. What did the Roselia ever do to you, man? Uh, yeah, you in the corner. Alright. I'm just gonna... Saw another log real fast, because I have no idea, like I said, how long any of this is going to go for, or last, or anything like that. One point out, it took like an hour to get us to actually running a bathhouse. Alright, so that's all the wood we get, because it's not growing back. That's fine. Alright, one moment, please. 
Looks like we only have one spirit left, which is good. I am going to wash these two towels and get them drying before I take the one towel out with us. Grab towel. Sprint. Because right now I don't see an actual stamina bar, even though it keeps mentioning stamina. Oh, no, shit. We got another spirit. Damn it! I'm trying! I'm trying really hard, man! There we go. Okay, so we're waiting on the towels. We're waiting on the towels. Can I... Nope. Okay. I keep wanting to clean up the dirt and the cobwebs, and it irritates the crap out of me that we just open this place without it. Um, okay, do I have space? No, you're gonna have to wait until somebody else is, like, hap like leaving. So we've got maximum temperature going for the spirits. I'm just gonna put that stuff in my backpack so I don't have to find them later. Because it irritates me that I can't clean anything! <laughs> but I want, wanted to catch it and I caught the Rosalia. I mean, fair enough. Why do you get in the way of me catching Pokemon sometimes? Because I have bad spatial awareness. How many times have you guys seen me just walk into a wall in a game? Like, come on now. I know, I know. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. Okay, 156. I don't feel like that's great, but... Okay, so this guy's leaving now. So because he's leaving, I can go ahead and take the next guy. He's leaving. So I'm gonna take this guy real quick. And then as soon as they drop off towels... Hydrate. Okay, give me just a sec. Oh, crap. Right here, wrong button. Our character's supposed to be a writer, and instead we're now running a bathhouse. This tracks. Why stream? Because I didn't know how much this game was going to stress the PC. The next time we play this, we'll probably have stream avatars on for you guys. Some games that I don't think are going to stress the PC, like, for some odd reason, piss it off, and then, like, stream avatars really messes everything up. Okay, so now I can take these three. That dude's leaving. Good. I'm just gonna leave a space. Why? What does the gong mean? I know it's like eight o'clock, but why is we? Why are we just now tolling the bell? Okay, okay. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> God, we need more towels. <laughs> Who's death coming for this time? I mean, they came for the frickin' war criminal, so there's that. Because, dear lord, the internet was all over that man as soon as he died. Crab rave with playing. It was glorious. Frickin' Kaiser. Hi, hi, hi. Yes, yes. Drop your, drop your towel. Thank you. Let me have a towel. Whee! Okay, good. We're still hot. Ooh, perfect. Washy, wash, 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 wash. I have to dry. I'm probably gonna put these down and then try to fit these last guys real fast. Oh god, crab rain. The internet was memeing before the official news channels had announced his death, by the way. They started reporting on his death at like 8.54 p.m. 
internet was me memeing crab rave at like 8.52. It was glorious. I don't have room for you right now in that tub, bud. If I put you in there, you're gonna piss a lot of dudes off. All right, so we're good there. Um, any more towels on me cleaning? No. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're making money. I definitely think that the ones who are in here are gonna be the last ones. No. So I'm gonna let the ones who are bathing finish and then we're gonna close the bathhouse. Because I, if I chase the spirits away, then they're going to leave, obviously. But they should all be done relatively close together. Oh, look at... Oh, this is the vine... Or the route he was talking about. Okay. Um, I might try to fit two more then. Come on. Just because, like, we might be able to get it there. <laughs> I feel like we're doing alright. I have no idea, like, what time my character, like, passes out from lack of sleep, though. I do know I'm going to have to call it soon. Oh, no. I don't see heat coming off that. What do you mean, might? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's that's all we can do. Got it. So we're going to go ahead and send the spirits away. Where'd the rest of my towels go? Damn it. Oh, they just all left them. Those assholes. They just fucking dipped. I thought they stole them. What do you mean, stole them? Who stole what now? I'm hoping if I just hang them up to dry that- Oh wait, shit, I can only hang up four to dry. Shit. The towels. Oh no, they just are dicks. I'm gonna try to finish this stuff and then we'll go home for the day. Yay! Yay! I mean, we made almost a thousand moolongs or whatever, so. I just don't know. If, I hope those dry. Um. Eva! Ceiling room. Please? Nope. Oh! Oh! Damn it, it's not doing shit though. Make the cobweb go away. Nope, alright. Back into the backpack you go. Right, I think I just have to leave, which sucks because now I gotta rewash those towels. <sighs> it's fine. I have no idea, like, when is bedtime or anything in this game, so... We'll find out! Meow, meow. Like, I just hear a freaking cat. Just screaming. I was like, yep. Come over here, I've got something to show you. Come on! Oh, God damn it! What do you want now? See this board here? This is the town board. It's where the locals like to post all kinds of things. However, more recently, I've noticed them posting concerns that are very peculiar. I know this town is crawling with spirits, and I have a feeling that a lot of the concern posts here could be linked somehow. It's probably a good idea to check this board periodically. If my hunch is correct, and of course it is, then we'll be able to find more potential customers for our bathhouse. This cat is money hungry. I mean, it's floating on a freaking... Uh, yen coin, so there's that. I think it's a hundred yen coin. 
You're feeling okay, so we have until midnight before we just pass out. I mean, we're we're getting there. Uh, eight hours. Okay. <laughs> About time you got up. Listen up. I thought of something that can help you keep a straight all the weirdness going on in the sanctuary. Oh, I was thinking it might be a good idea to write down key information you've heard around town in your notebook. You know, stuff that's more than likely related to spirits causing mischief. Here, start off by opening up your backpack and pressing Y. Good. Next, try pressing X to switch to your notebook. Okay. Is that really your notebook? Are you sure you didn't steal it from a child? Whatever. Moby told us something about his bathtub growing a strange plant matter, right? Try flipping over to Moby's page in the notebook. You can flip to other pages by pressing on the sticks. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming these are, yeah. I'm pretty sure he needs to clean his bathroom. One of the locals tells you something that could be related to finding a spirit. That information will be recorded in the notebook. This way you don't have to remember everything that said to you. Let's face it. I've uh, seen brighter candles burning. This cat spirit just called me stupid. In a rainstorm. Damn. Bear a tick in chat for anyone who wants one. You can close the notebook when you're done by pressing Y. Nice and simple. Okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming Y reopens it. Gray roofed house, drinking and singing for his hobbies. Okay. So. Which one are you again? Oh, Kenzo. Again, what does that bar mean? So gray roofed house. What do you mean by gray roofed house? Oh, this one. This one's Moby's place. It's a or no, that's the blacksmith's. Wait, does Faye and Moby live together? I used to be scared when I would work with the forge. The extreme heat would psych me out. After a few burns, though, it's no biggie. Aha. Uh -huh. This place was too clean. Yeah, this is too clean. There's nothing growing in that one. They're controlled plants. This isn't Moby's place. Gray roofed house. <laughs> oh, no, guys. Make sure you keep your place clean and tidy there, Wolf. Moby was telling me he was having issues with some weird vegetation. Too damn sunny. Uh huh. Was that statue there yesterday? Birdie! What button was it for the map again? Shit. Oh, wait. What? What is all of this? Chapter one? We're not even into chapter one? What is this? I just wanted a map. Now it says apartment. Damn it. 3F. Okay. Damn it. Run, little one, run! Okay, so shop. 
There's a shrine there. The apartment. Yeah, this is the apartment. He said 3F. Okay. Okay, this is not Moby's place. Don't be a jerk. Close the door. This is also not Moby's place. Oh, it is. Okay. Can't say that I have. I genuinely don't know what to do. Clean this every day for the rest of my life. Oh, ready, wrong button. <laughs> Hi. You look awfully comfy for someone caught breaking and entering. What'd you say? Speak up. I said get out of the tub, you crook. My, how indecent of you. The spirit has standards, you know. Why wouldn't I be here? This is my home, is it not? This isn't your home, you senile buffoon. What are you calling a senile buffoon? Your levitating furry pig? Wait a minute. I recall someone a furry pig before many, many times. Who the hell are you? Oh god, I hate. You're incredibly annoying. I hate this screen. This needs to be fixed. Fur pig, fatty fur pig. Oh, you're Woonyon, and I am was once called Morinobia? Morinoba? Morinoba. Oh, big granny. It really is you. It's been so long. I'm glad to see yourself again, though it couldn't have hurt to remember yourself a bit younger. My old friend, what happened to me? Why am I such an unconventional house? And who is this one? This is Wolf. They've been helping me restore the things back to normal somewhat. You, like many others, lost your way, but thankfully you're back with us now. No, no, that's not who I meant. I wonder who you are. Yes, you. You've, uh, lost me. Wolf, is it? How are you involved in all of this? Aw, oh, gee, she's always going on like this. Get a grip. Your brain's getting to be as twisted as your creepy root legs. What is with this game and the fourth wall breaks? Like, I want to point that out. The cat's been doing it. She just did it. <laughs> I suppose you could be right. I've not been myself for quite some time now. Anyway, like I was saying, we're getting to the bathhouse up and running again. You should come by and rest your old bones in a real bath. Who are you calling old? If I recall correctly, you're far older and quite frankly, time has clearly taken its toll. I will take you up in your offer, though. Ring the bathhouse bell and I'll hear it. Damn hag. You can always count on her to cause loads of trouble. Speaking of oversized loads, is a large gal. Not all the spirits you encounter will be as small as Aram and Father Fong, so you'd better see Faye about repairing more of the overgrown baths. With spirits showing up, we might be quickly running out of space. Alright, Moby. There you go. They're gone now. Thank the freaking spirits. You're welcome. Closes cat. Cat's a spirit. Cat phases. Um, okay, so we're gonna turn that off so we don't drain it. I guess we gotta go talk to Faye now. Which she should be nearby, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. There she is. I love animals, though I guess most people say that, don't they? I like working outside in the spring. How? Oh. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so I would assume I need the private bath on the right. But that's 5,000. Okay. So, we got a little bit of a money grind, although we can clear up some stuff here soon, which would help. We could do meals and stuff. Mm. 
Also, what do the local villagers think of me just going up to this house property that I don't have, like, the deed for every single day? Like, what, what are their thought process on this? Also, why, why did I have no regular money? Okay, those did eventually dry. These are still wet. So we're gonna hang those up before we get going. I'm gonna try to open up at maybe noon-ish. And see where we go from there. Definitely gotta get the boiler up and going. So, what well, we got? Five logs yesterday total? Three if you don't count the two tutorial ones? We'll see how this goes. I want to see... I want to see how many logs I can, like, pre-cut. Because pretty much as soon as I start this, I have to open up the bathhouse, which is kind of annoying. I also really wish I could just... Alright, so we're gonna be opening up closer to one, that's fine. Come on. Oh, I mean... I'll take what I can get. <laughs> sawing away, sawing away. <laughs> okay, so it looks like four because it's not going to grow anymore. Okay, the most I can put in is three. That's fine. At least that's pre-cut now. So hopefully now this towel's dry quickly. Damn it. Hey, looky looky, I can actually clean up the floor! <laughs> Put him in the corner. I'm gonna run and grab my freaking broom real fast. So I can clean up some of this fucking floor while we wait. Okay, cool. Damn it, right here, wrong button. Stupid freaking. There we go. Alright, you follow me. You go in this corner. Because who says I can't clean while I wait for customers to show up? Get this place looking a lot better. Right this way, sir. Madam. Spirit. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to do a ton last night was because I figured we'd get a lot of good customers just because of the fact that, like, it's the tutorial. It's as much as you can handle type of thing. Alright, you follow me. Uh, I do need to... Toss a log. Damn it, I keep thinking it's A to interact and it's B. It throws me off. Hello, this way. This 
Because this way, I don't feel like I'm intruding upon their baths, but I'm still getting some stuff done. That is a big spirit. Oh, Christ. Um, I may not have left room for you. You take up nine. All right, well. Until someone leaves, I can't put any more to anyone else in the bath. I, I can't. Give me a minute. There we go. All right. I, I'm sorry. That one's gonna have to wait until I have space. Uh, I assume she'd be more of a winter spirit, but I don't know if it's like, oh, the purple one's always gonna be a spring and the red one's always gonna be fall. I have no idea. They could all be different ones and I have no way of really telling. At least right now. Look at us getting this place all spick and spam. I just have to pray that the heat lasts because I only get four magical logs a day right now. Ooh, there we go. I could, I could ask the big spirit to leave, and that may be what I do. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this one's towel, and we're gonna put the towel back over here. It's not very nice, but I'd rather get some payment versus no payment, you know? Um, hang on. How does that one feel about being next to her? There are so so. So we're gonna. Oh, well. If you're gonna leave, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other one then. Come here. You got lucky. Damn it. Let's be to interact. There we go. See, if I'd known this, I could have been cleaning it last night. Okay, so that one's leaving. Um, I've got one more with a towel after that, so I need to place this one. I need to go collect towels. You're too big. I'm sorry. You're, you're too big. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. That is the honest truth. Okay, let me let me get the towels cleaned real fast. And then I'll grab another one and put him in the tub. So we probably want to close up around 11 or so. Fletch and Ender escaped. That's not a surprise. Boop, boop, boop. All right, there was only three. I was like, wait, why was there not four? Because there wasn't four, there was only three. Yes, yeah, so we really need to get those private baths going. I'm waiting on more towels. I'm sorry. As soon as the towels are taken care of, we will be good to go. I promise. Okay, we have three more towels. Hey, there's the big one. Cool. So we can set another big one. Hopefully the big ones pay well. You're gonna be a little bit cramped with Granny, but you'll be fine. Oh, they don't like each other. Crap. Uh, you, I don't have room for. Sorry. You, I have some room for. Come on. Do you like being next to Granny? Because you're, you're spring. Empty that, grab this towel. Run and wash this towel. 
And we'll go back to cleaning the floors. No, Granny. You're too big. I'm sorry. You're just too big, hun. When I have space, yes, I will put one of you in the tub, but right now I don't have space for another one. And more likely that's not going to be the next thing to leave is the big one, so... There's not much I can do about it. Okay, there goes a little dude. I'm just trying to get some of the floor clean. Oh, yay, the internet had another freaking hiccup. Alright, there we go. Alright, two of you guys are gone. Alright, we're gonna leave that there. Come this way, come this way. You go there. What the fuck is happening? What? Am I being possessed? Cat? <laughs> Cat spirit! Oh no, he went! <laughs> what the crap? Your spirituality has increased. I leveled up? You now see more spirits around town. <laughs> what in the blazing boiler was all that about? I don't know. You seem different. Your spirituality seems to have deepened. The ancestor tree, the ancient tree spouting from the bathhouse seems to have a rewarded you for serving all of our spirits. Well, keep it up. If serving spirits at the bathhouse improves your spirituality, then that means we'll be able to find more customers. I mean, troublemaking spirits around town. It's a win-win, really. Money-hungry cat spirit. Come on. You with me. You right there. And we don't have any more towels, do we? Twelve ninety. Okay. Well, we've got room for one upgrade at least. Washy, washy, wash, wash. I can't help but notice that the boiler isn't going. Yeah, it's on the way down. Damn it! Let me go see if we can make. If we can get another. Hang on, hang on. Nope, we're, we're out of wood for the day, guys. Um, so these guys need to finish their baths, but we're not gonna take anybody else to the baths. So... I'm gonna let this one leave. Put his towel. Not you. Out of the way, you stupid cat. I'm gonna wash these. Hopefully the other one's dry. Yeah, it takes them longer to dry without the boiler going. Can I, like, expand the size of the boiler? Is that an option? Okay, so those are drying now. Pick this back up. All right, there goes the big Yababa looking one. There goes that little dude. As soon as they're out of the tub, because the water's getting cold, I'll go ahead and I'll ring the bell. I just don't want to chase them out too soon. Just trying, like I said, to clean up what I can, where I can. I'm assuming that's like my level up spirituality thing with that weird vine. I'm sorry, the dirt bothers me, damn it. I wish I could take like a week and just clean this place without running it, but I assume the game's like, oh, let me get away with that. We do have enough for our first upgrade with the blacksmith, though. 
Pick the broom back up. Sweepy, sweepy, sweep, sweep. I'm literally waiting on those two to figure it out. God, this is like the worst part of a customer service job is like essentially you're closed or closing and you're waiting for the last few customers to leave because you've got one of those bosses who's like, no, 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 you're open until the customers are ready to leave. And you're just like, God damn it. We closed an hour ago. I'm not getting paid for this hour. Let me leave. Cause you're gonna bitch that I got too much overtime as it is. Eat freaking jobs like that. Can you two? Okay, there goes that one. So we're waiting on the last one, which he should be out in a minute because they went in about the same time. Cool, there he goes. Awesome. So we're gonna let him put his towel up, we're gonna let him pay, and then we're gonna ring the bell. Collect the last of that, collect these towels. We're at 1537. Wash these towels. Of course, there's five instead of four. Why do I have nine towels? Oh, no, I have ten, don't I? I have ten towels for this building. That dude took a towel? Oh, there it is. I like that you can neaten your stack. I saw him freak out. Um, so I think what we're gonna do... I don't know if I'm... There we go. Okay, so you have to be slightly under the cobwebs to clean them. Come on. Come on. Clean this cobweb. Game's like, no, F you. This cobweb lives, and I'm like, no! There we go. I'm sorry, the cobwebs and the dirt and everything bother me. Alright, so there's that. Let's go in here. Um, actually, I need that back. Because I think the kitchen's the first thing we can unlock. So I kind of want to clean up the kitchen a bit. I'm also waiting for those four towels to dry so I can hang up the last towel to dry, so that way... Another couple is like, I want to live, yeah. I need to leave soon, though. Because midnight's when the game yelled at us. Alright, those are just gonna have to hang dry. I'm just gonna have to remember that. Alright, we gotta zoom home. I need to clean that entrance, though. Dear God, it's so filthy. We'll do that tomorrow before we reopen the bathhouse. But I mean, hey, if I'm home by midnight, I can sleep till 8 a.m. It's eight hours of sleep. Just sprint home for all we're worth. I don't know what I found, but I found something. Keep an eye out for a vandal around town. My boat is covered in graffiti. Your home might be next. I reported to the police, but there are no leads so far. I apologize for the inconvenience by the silence of the temple bell. Please try to remember that the bell will no longer be ringing at 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. until the situation has been resolved. Okay, cool. Sprint home! Also, what the fuck did I just pick up? Did 
Gel berry. It's food. Okay. I found a berry. Yes, we wish to sleep for eight hours. So today we earned just under 600. That's not bad. Banana! Ooh, it's raining. I wonder what that could mean. Oh, it's 7 a.m. My bad. <laughs> it is definitely rainy rain rain. Now the boat said something about having graffiti on it, so we're gonna go over to the boathouse. Which I'm not gonna lie, any time there's a boathouse... It's pretty wild. I've traveled many countries, but it's first for me. Did something happen? At least for me it is. Some scoundrels taking upon themselves to vandalize my precious boat. What is your accent supposed to be, hon? Like, cozy little boat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's Mal. Nope, okay. I don't see anyone there. Why is this music so good all of a sudden? Like, hello, we have a beat? Dun, 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 dun. So I can do the overgrown cooking area. And then slow poke and chat. We can save up for... Um... Crap, what's it called? We can save up for one of the private baths. That'll be our next big goal is the 5,000 for a private bath. But I'm hoping I could, if we've got the food going, possibly I could placate some people. Dude, where's this music been? Oh, the music's only in town. No, bring it back. I liked the music. It's working on. Oh, okay. So I can't access the bathhouse while she's doing upgrades. Interesting. Noted. So if there's rumors I need to check out, that's where I need to like upgrade the bathhouse. What is this? Snail fruit. Yes. I shall eat it. And it shall be delicious, hopefully, maybe. Kinda wondering if I wander around town, if I can find somebody. I don't know how long my infusion stuff lasts, so I'll, like, I'll have to be careful with it. No, oh, again, bring back the music, it was good! Gib, music. Gib. So I guess I need to just go around talking to people. Which, again, weird, but whatever. Ooh, what's this? Putting bag. Burp, burp. Hey, old man. Mika and I usually watch some TV before fed. Her shows are mind rottingly boring that I usually end up falling asleep first. Uh huh. Weird. No one's here. Hello? Meow. Oh, now he's here. Hey. Have you done much hiking yet? There's an incredible trail northwest of town. Uh huh. I'm looking for unusual stuff. Whose house is this? Whose horse is that? Damn it! Close the door behind me. But don't lock me in. I don't want to be rude. This kid's just sleeping. Not a care in the world. 
I guess go check the board, maybe? Like, I legit don't know what to do. I mean, just like, oh, it's raining, and so they're, like, not doing anything? Let's see, the board should be down here, right? School. So this is one of those shrines. It's an old damaged shrine. And it's like, well, you haven't learned how to unlock upgrades yet, so... Yeah, that's the only thing I've seen, is those two, and I can't do anything with it. Let me just jump off a cliff. I don't think that's an option. Sadly. <laughs> Have you climbed the stairs at the eastern part of town? If you can make it all the way to the top, you can find a huge old building. I know the lady that used to live in your house liked to go up there a lot. You don't say. Hmm. None of your family's upstairs. Hmm, 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 hmm. Have you been keeping well? Who's well? I'm not keeping anyone, more or less. What a cryptic answer. Almost like you're answering a question with a question. Uh-huh. I feel like he knows more than he lets on. Chase. 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 Okay. Hello? Gail's a cool girl. She's not as intense as she lets on. Okay. Quick, run away! Something. So what happens if I talk to her again? Life is long, like really long, so take care of yourself. So what's, what's in the baskets? Can, can I take? <laughs> Into the back of <laughs> goes... <laughs> Tea basket. What do I do with this? Why can I pick this up? Why can I just walk off with it? Can I take... Can I take it and offer it to Buddha? Oh, damn it. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not stealing nothing. I'm just trying to do something. Oh yeah, you guys. Amelia and Miko were the ones who convinced me to turn my thumb green. You know what's the worst? Ziploc bags. I can't for the life of me get those things to close properly. I just put whatever is inside and then I roll it. Moby, you're hopeless. It's a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> crab. I have captured a crab! <laughs> okay, I cannot consume the crab. <laughs> does, does anyone need crab? I can catch a hermit crab, apparently. No mail. Okay. Oh, this just allows me to go directly into the bedroom? Okay. There's a back door out even? Okay, I got three entrances and slash exits to this place. He's the crab wolf god. <laughs> I don't know how long repairs take. I don't know nothing. Wood needed. Ah. Uh, so I can either save up 15,000 and just pay to have the bridge fixed, or I can find- I can collect wood and not run the bathhouse for a day, basically, and donate it. Well, I wouldn't be able to run the bathhouse for two days. But I don't know if I've got, like, a time limit or what. I can't tell how much of it is, like, troublesome spirits and how much of it is just our friend being like, Meh, I want money. She's still... Yeah, okay, so it's probably gonna be the whole day then that I can't go in there. That's annoying. What us over here? It's locked. Okay. So I have to unlock it. I have to get that as an upgrade, probably, maybe. Uh... 
All right. I think we're going to go back to the house and we're going to sleep to save, basically. And I think we're going to call it. Steal all of the money. I mean, we don't have much. I spent a thousand getting the kitchen cleaned up. So I think that's where we're going to leave this one for today. If you guys are enjoying the vibes of this game, we can play it again on Sunday. Bug. 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 Oh, I sat. <laughs> Bug. 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 You're enjoying it? Okay. Like, it's not bad. I will say the customer service PTSD has kicked in a little bit with this game. I don't know about that. Kitty! But. I think this is where we're gonna leave it. Like, we're waiting for our first upgrade. That seems like a good spot. It's not a bad little game. I see where, like, the Studio Ghibli vibes thing comes from, and I see kind of, like, the Stardew inspiration is heavy. Uh, yes. Pets the kitty, yeah. Okay, so that should save the game. Oh, I can just pull them. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Friendship options, options, main menu. All right. But I think that's where we're going to leave this today. Um, we're just going to main menu and quit out. That's that's what I'm about to go pull up and see real fast is who we raiding. I just didn't want to toggle out of the game real quick. I know Lizzie's live, but we've raided Lizzie a lot lately. So I want to see if we can find somebody else. Uh, Shred Shack is live. Skinny is live with Scarlet and Violet. But I think Skinny's been alive for a while. So I don't know how long Skinny's got left. Do we want to keep this game or do we want to go like Pokemon? Is there a specific type of game we want to go to? You have Scarlet and Violet down, but the intro to this game is so long, which tells me you're probably running a um, different game. Thank you for streaming. You're welcome, Marvel. Like I said, I'm trying my best. I really am. We've had a couple of internet hiccups, it looks like, but nothing too horrible. Um, okay, so it looks like... I don't know what skinny. Um, are you doing a Nuzlocke? Oh, they're doing a card lock is what skinny is doing. Okay, and Scarlet Violet. That makes more sense. Either or on which game? Okay. What's Lizzie doing today? I know we've rated Lizzie a lot, but... Lizzie's got some wholesome vibes. And Lizzie hasn't been live that long. Looks like she's continuing her hunt for Roaring Moon. Shiny Roaring Moon, so. Maybe. Okay. Is that wanting to load on my end? Oh, okay, so she's resetting. Alright, so we're going to raid over into Lizzie, guys. But please remember, take care of yourselves. Drink food, eat. God damn it. Drink water, eat food. Why do I keep getting those backwards? Stretch if you can and everything. And I will see you guys on Saturday in the evening with Casual and Boa for some more lethal company. I will not just be on cams the whole time. I'll be actually running around and being stupid. So. <laughs> Uh, I'll figure out what we're doing Saturday, Sunday. It'll probably be more spirity. I do dig the vibes of the game, but until then, take care of yourselves, and I will see you later, everybody. Drink food, eat water. At, at Marvel, it happens every other time. But I'll catch you guys later. Have a good rest of your day slash night, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Oh, right. Chat commands. You can't have the teleport button. We have to buy that upgrade. There we go. Use whichever one, guys. I'll see you next time.